It was suggested recently in an online blog that making a large or even medium size grooveware pot, such as the ones that are found on Orkney, could take several weeks. I have been building this one for the last hour and a half and I'm not finished yet. I'm about to add another coil in a few minutes. It's a coil and pinch technique that builds this pot up. So I'm adding coils of clay and pinching them out. I am working, as you will see, on a little turntable. But in fairness, the pots that have been found in Orkney uh, often have, or some have, basket work impressions on the base of them showing that they were made on grass mats and if you put a grass mat onto a bed of sand on a flat flagstone you've basically got a turntable so uh, while I am cheating slightly it's only because my back is uh, it's giving me a little bit of bother and most importantly the sand generates dust and I don't want that in my lungs so, yes, a small amount of cheating in that it's slightly easier for me to turn it round, although, in fairness, I could work around it. Um, but I'm building this in the same way that my uh, Neolithic uh, predecessors, potters, would have built their pots. See how we get on. Okay, it's a couple of minutes later. And I'm just about to add the very last coil of clay to this pot. Now those of you who know me will know I don't like the term coil pottery. But effectively that is what I'm adding, is a coil of clay. Um, but this pot, rather than being made up of lots of small coils, and most of the coils were more substantial than this one, is in fact made now of seven coils of clay and a single base piece. So the base was laid down and then there have been seven additions of clay to get to this point. Um, now I'm adding clay on the inside which corresponds with the diagonal joins that you see on pots because as I squeeze this clay into place it will form a diagonal bond with the next with the wall of the pot. Um, some of the pots admittedly have what looks like a tongue and groove but in fact is just the clay's been applied over the top of the wall of the pot and this now is going to be my last coil of clay being added to this one so in a few minutes time this pot will be finished um, about two to two and a half hours definitely not weeks not even days uh, i will let it dry overnight before i apply any decoration to it but that's it really, built in one go. Okay, I am pretty much finished for today, but as I say, I'll let it dry overnight. This is now about 60 centimeters tall, and it actually has a volume that I've roughly calculated at somewhere between 50 and 60 liters. So quite a decent brewing vessel. As I say, made in about two and a half hours.